Hey there, welcome to my very first Let's Play. To mark a such a memorial event, memorous if you will, I want to begin my Let's Play career with a game that has created many, many, many memories for me. Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. This game uh, was the first game I ever owned. This one right here. This isn't a uh, a rebuy or a, a rental or anything. This is the cartridge I owned when I was five, six, maybe younger, maybe. I don't know. When did this game come out? Two thousand. Uh, two. 96, 96, this game came out, if I remember right. Yep, uh, Nintendo 1996. So I was at my youngest six when this came out. And this game gave me my fear of water levels. It introduced me to the plumber in red. Uh, it made me terrified of fire-breathing turtles as well which I quickly got over. I still haven't gotten over my fear of water levels because of this game. So when we get to water levels, you'll probably hear me freaking out just a little bit. So let's get to it. Very first Let's Play, Super Mario 64, going for 120 stars completion. Let's do it. And I hope you enjoy this journey that we're about to go on. It's me, Mario! Hey guys, welcome to Super Mario 64! First thing that you're gonna do... Well, actually, uh, there was something fun you could always do on the main screen, so... I'm gonna turn the game off and uh, go mess around with Mario's face for a second. Let's do this again. It's me, Mario! Hello! Alright. The funnest things about Super Mario 64 that I recall was the ability to just mess with Mario's face. And I was always of the personal of the personal opinion that it would be really cool if uh, the way you morphed Mario's face, come on, grab his hat, is the way it would appear in-game. Why aren't you grab- there we go. Yeah. I just always thought it would be really cool if the way you changed Mario's face was the way it, it appeared in the game. That was pr probably a little too much for uh, the technology back in 96, 97, but I always thought that would have been swell if I could play Super Mario 64 with Mario looking like this. Maybe a little mustache as well, yeah, give him, give him some cool shades. Mario doesn't have a mustache, he's got shades. Mario's a boss. He doesn't need a mustache, he's got his shades. Yeah. There we go. Mario the Keebler Elf with shades. <laughs> Let's play this game. Alright. Brand new game. Here we go. I'll be honest, when I first played this game, I had no clue what those things were. This was the first Mario game I ever played. This was the first video game I ever played, I think. I may have played Pac-Man or something in like the arcades or whatever, when arcades still existed, but this was the first console video game I ever played. Yeah, the first video game I ever played was Lemmings on my dad's computer. 
So, anyways, here we go. Chow, you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now head for the castle! Maybe later. I know that there's a, uh, a secret mushroom in one of these trees over here. Um, so we're gonna go find that. I'm pretty sure it was this tree right here. Yep. And now we're up one extra life before the game even starts. Um, we'll do a little scenery viewing really quickly. Um, go swim underwater for a little bit. Yeah. Get dangerously close to dying before we even get inside the castle. Uh, swimming around. Oh yeah, the stupid current. I forgot about the current pushing me away, actually. Uh, yeah. Man, this game. This game, man. So cool. Let's, um... I don't think there were any more secret mushrooms inside any of the other trees. I know there were butterflies that turned into uh, mushrooms or bombs or s stupid things like that because it's Mario. Um, was it? I don't remember. I mean, if one of these butterflies turns into a bomb suddenly, I can just jump in the water and... Uh, recover my life because that's how that works. Mario can breathe through his shoes and recover his life in this game. So yeah. Oh shoot. Got a little too ambitious and carefree there. And just jumped right off the bridge. This is gonna be a great let's play, I can already tell. I'm gonna be jumping off of everything, and all you guys are gonna be like, Why are you jumping off of everything? And I'm gonna be like, yeah, I don't know. Hey, Lakitu, how's it going? Good afternoon, Lakitu brothers here, reporting live from just outside Princess Peach's castle! Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars! The, uh, the seasoned, a uh, seasoned cameraman will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. We can't adjust the view any further. We'll buzz to take a look at the surroundings. Stop and press C up or up C, as I like to call it. Press A to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live. This has been the Lakitu Brothers. Because that's totally how Lakitu's talk. Here we go, inside the castle. Welcome, no one's home, now scram, and don't come back. <laughs> that was a good Bowser imitation, if I was watching the old uh, Super Mario Brothers cartoon. All right, first power star. Triple jump right into that. Painting. Let's go. Whoa! You're smacked in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the Bob Bomb buddies. Press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop, face them, and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B. All right, let's talk to the bob -omb. Watch out! If you wander around here, you're you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. Those enemy bob bombs love to fight, and they're always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big bob -omb got his paws on the power star. Can you recover the power star for us? Cross the bridge and go left up the path to find the big bob -omb. Please come back to see me after you've revived after you've retrieved the power star. Certainly, little guy. What do you gotta say? Hey you! It's dangerous up ahead, so listen up! Take my advice! Cross the two bridges ahead, then watch for falling water bombs. The big bob -omb at the top of the mountain is very powerful, so don't let him grab you. 
We're bob -omb buddies and we're on your side. You can talk to us whenever you like to. Aw, I feel loved. All right. Jump on a Goomba. Cause we can. Hell yeah, first coin. You were there for my first coin of this let's play. There we go. Always wondered what that block did before I found out what that block did. What's that sign say? I've forgotten. Let's find out. There are special uh, caps in the red, green, and blue blocks. Step, step on the switches in the hidden courses to activate the cap blocks. Okay, yeah, I knew that. All right. Um, do I want to deal with Chain Chomp? I almost want to just get this Power Star out of the way. Because Chain Chomp's monstrous out. Yeah, and that. Ow. Run, 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 run. I still hate water levels more than Chain Chomp. Ah, 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 no! Okay, good. Ah, okay, well, at least I'm not dead. Coin. Because coins have magical healing power. So that's the lesson for the day, kids. As long as you have enough money, you can always get well. That's, a, that's actually a very sad sounding moral. Remember, kids, money buys everything, including your life. Ah! Ah! Jesus. I hate Chain Chomp. Almost as much as I hate water levels. At least Chain Chomp can be dealt with. Ah! Ah, okay. No. Primony! Yeah, I'm glad I'm getting this power star out of the way. That's right. We're not even doing this let's play in order. Ah. 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 Christ! Come on! Yes! Okay. That was a lot more difficult than it should have been. But, hey, first power star of the game is the sixth yeah. one of the level. Here we go! A new high score! Alright, save and continue. You've recovered one of the power- You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor in the room with the painting of Womp's Fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. We're just going to backflip right back into this painting. We got, s we still got seven power stars to get in here. All right, now we're going to do this stuff in order, because you can't help but do it in order in a quarter now. I think. Yeah. I mean, I could, no, I can't get the red coins because I don't have the cannon ability yet. Excuse me, chain jump. Excuse me, my bombs out. Uh. In case you're wondering why I'm making uh, some seemingly stupid mistakes, it's because um, I'm watching through my video feed right now, 
I don't have the uh, necessary cables to play the game through my TV and have it record on my computer screen, screen just yet. I am still a very poor college student and don't have the necessary funds, but um, I should here soon. Well, I mean, I have some things I need to return for money, and then I'll have the funds to get the uh, join cables and God, the bombs. And then I'll uh, have the join cables, and then I'll be able to make less stupid mistakes. Alright, up the summits. Jump over bombs, or boulders, or I don't know what they are. They're giant cannonballs, that's what they are. And my 64 controller is really old, so pushing in certain directions doesn't do as well as it should. And... yeah. So I'll have a little bit of trouble controlling Mario through, the, through this Let's Play. Mostly when I push right. I'm not gonna worry about taking the warp. Because... I mean, because most people don't know about the warps, and there are coins that I need to get to up my HP. And there's a part there that I could use. Jump. King Babam. Running in circles. It's all you need to do in this game. Alright, first boss battle. I'm the Big Babam, Lord of the Blasting Matter, King of Kabooms, the world over! How dare you steal my mountain? By by what right do you set foot on my imperial mountain top? You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. Who told this guy my name? If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. All right. This guy's slow. I'm just kind of sit over here. And... Yeah, come at me, bro. Come at me. Come on. You got nothing. You got nothing. Watch this. Oh, yeah. What are you gonna do now, King Babam? I got ya. And you are tossed. And yeah, you can't really Uh, you're alright. Yeah. Backflip. Awesome. Um, I'm not sure if three is the magic number for this guy or not, honestly. Three. Yep, three's the magic number, as always. What? What? Could it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bob King? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Hint, hint. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. For now, farewell. Boom! Let's go grab that star. Here we go! That's power star number two. Hey, 13 coins, that's a new high score. Back in that painting. Foot race with Koopa the Crick. Koopa the Quick. Let's talk to this bomb bomb, cause they told me to. Uh, if you like, we can blast off, don't mind, help yourself. We'll prepare all of the cannons in the course for you, you, for you to use. Bon voyage. First cannon! Awesome. Eh, yeah, yeah. I already know all this stuff. Sorry, here. 
For those of you who, for some reason, have never played Super Mario 64, ready for Blast Off! Come on, hop into the cannon! You can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the control stick to aim, then press A to fire! If you're handy... Yeah, if you're handy, you can grab onto trees or poles to land. That's for all of you who have never played Super Mario 64 before. Hey Mario, is it true that you beat the Big Bob Bomb? Cool! You must be strong and pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me? Coop with the quick? I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop where the Bob Bomb, where the Big Bob Bomb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Come on! Change camera view! Ah! Stupid Lakatoos! God! Why wouldn't they change the camera view? Now I'm gonna die. How the hell is he ahead of me? Oh yeah, that's right, he's a cheating asshole. Uh, it's a good thing there are coins. If the stupid Lakitu's had actually changed my damn camera angle, I could have beaten him so much quicker. Whoa! You were really fast! A human blur! Here you go! You've won it fair and square! <laughs> Thanks for the power star, broski. I'll see you in little small, uh, little big world. Alright, you've recovered three power stars! You, now you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Okay, back into this course. What um bum ba dum bum Shoot to the island in the sky! That's fairly self-explanatory. Ah! I wanted to cannonball into the cannon. Oh well. Uh, can't shoot myself there from here, but there's another cannon right over here. Alright, let's see if I can hit that tree. Oh, wow! That was dandy. I've never cut it that close before. Alright! Quickest star in the game, folks. Quickest star in the game. Here we go. I think. There might be one quicker. I don't know. But, we're going back into this place again. Bob on Battlefield. Find the eight red coins. Can I do that without the red cap? I think so. So let's do it. I know I'll need the red cap to get the uh, 100, st 100 coin star. But um, beyond that, I think I can get all the red coins without the red cap. Uh, is there one way over here? 
now there's just a sign. Alright. Whoosh. Oh, too quick. Yeah, that's just it's really dumb that you can jump down. Yeah, Koopa Shell is this game's equivalent of Star Power. I don't think anything. Nope, nope, Chang Chang can hurt me. So, I lied. Uh, this shell is not this game's equivalent of star power, which means this game doesn't have star power at all, which is lame. But hey, I didn't know that when I first played this game, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, sweet secret mushroom. Come here. Um, which raises the question, which one of those was the teleport? Oh, well. and a mushroom and stomp on that and stomp on that open the gate run from the bomb bombs because we're not worried about 100 points right now we're gonna get a new high score that's gonna be cool uh there was a coin up on top of the islands but just in case none of you knew this Yeah. Being a prick to change him. Grab that coin. Are there red coins around here? Yes, there's one right there. And six. Six red coins. Um, yeah, there's one on that hill. So, just blast myself up there. Number seven. Much better. There's not one down there, is it? Is there? Nah, there's not. Cool. That would be silly if there was. And the boulders, cannonballs have severely increased in number. Uh, there's a cannon there that I don't need. Oh my god, so many boulders. Cannonballs. I don't know what they are. Really, who knows what any of these things are? I suppose some people. Some people are like. Yeah. Uh, that was my imitation of a smart person, everyone. Yeah. Coin number eight. Now I need to figure out how the heck to get down there without killing myself. Luckily, there's a cannon right here. Yeah, I need that. I do need... The fly cap for the last the last star on this level. Here we go! But that was 40 coins that time around. Um, seeing as I can't really do much in that level anymore, let's go grab some secret stars. Is that the... Okay, that costs three. Yeah. That costs one. That one costs. Let's go get these. Fun fact um, when I first played this game, when I first played this game, we um, uh, and Nintendo Help still existed. We were at 119 stars, my brother, my dad, and I. And we searched high and low for that last star. And for the life of us, we could not find it. So we called Nintendo Help 
and they sent someone to help us get the star. It was the, uh, the star that's ridiculously hard to get in this level if you don't know what you're doing, which is uh, beat the course in 20 seconds or less, which I did not do because I was too concerned with getting points. But Here we, go. we we spent so much time trying to get that gosh darn We spent so much time trying to figure out where the star was and it was just right there this whole time so Let's see how many tries it takes me to get the secret star. That was one try Try number two hug the walls because that's the best thing to do. Make a mushroom. Yeah, that's try number three. Yeah. Oh, that was try number two. I'm sorry. So this will be try number three. I think you can slide faster on your belly. So that's what we're gonna do. Maybe I'm making that up, but it seems you can. I may be right. You, I think you can slide faster on your belly. Yeah, it's true. You can slide faster on your belly. 17, 18, 19. Ah, no! Okay. Ah. Uh, try number four coming right up. I think it might be this controller and the fact that I can't push right very well or upright. Alright, let's do it. Yes! Alright, so you have to beat it in under 20 seconds. That is the stipulation. Do not grab that blue star. Good. Alright. My 120th star on my very first playthrough is my 7th star on this playthrough. 